everyone, Miro here. Welcome back to What the Fuck Wednesday with Downfall. Last episode, I we met a girl named Sophie. She told us to kill four incarnations of her. Uh, this ha- might be one of them, this thing on the floor. Um, we met a doctor who's doing some brain surgeries on someone named Agnes, and he wants us to get something from the cellar. We still don't know where our wife is. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. This place is bad shit. Uh, so let's try to find out where where Ivy went. Where's my wife? You will never find her. She is mine. Mine. Well, see about that. You disgust me. I'm not scared of you. We'll see about that. Strangle her, leave her. Um, we're supposed to kill them. Let's leave her for now. But I'll be back soon. Because the other chick said that she had to be the first one to go, so we'll listen to her instructions. Let's take the lift. Let's go to the fourth floor. Which is gonna be that lady's office, I think. Oh, great. Yeah, that sounds good. No fourth floor? Not today? Alright, well, we'll try that floor later. Um, we have the key for the cellar. Let's go get the doctor what he wants. He didn't really tell us what he wanted. He I said you'll know. I have no idea what I'm looking for. Yep. You'll know it when you see it, yeah. he says. Yeah. Right. There's a bottle. A bottle of castor oil. Never to be consumed with blueberry pies. I'm sure I'll take that. What else should we take? The light's already on. Can we... Can we turn that back on, please? Can we? Oh my god. Can we turn the light back on? Uh, stained chef's uniform, surely sent down here for cleaning. It, but it's of no use to me, but maybe there's something in the pockets. There's a key inside, okay. Can we leave the basement now? I wouldn't have even noticed it if I wasn't if it wasn't for the light coming through the gap. I don't like this shadow. I guess we're going through the trapdoor though. I think I hear cats screaming. Is this Ivy? Oh. Whoa. Do I know this person? No, that's impossible. Remove skin flap. Oh, what the fuck? This is the bathroom from the first game. Thanks for doing the dishes, Ives. Thanks for making dinner. It is nice. I'm just, I'm just glad you're eating again. It got me a little worried, you know, this whole... Can we just forget about it? I'm fine. There is nothing to worry about. Huh? Oh. Door just shut. Fuck. Who's done this? It won't budge. Oh god. I'm trapped in the horror bathroom. <gasps> oh god, it's a cat. You stupid cats. Oh, what the fuck? 
bathrooms, uh, bl bathtubs full of blood. Can we get out? Can we, can we get out, please? Oh god. What the fuck is that? What is that? Huh. Pathetic, ugly bitch. Everyone's looking at you. Your fat, disgusting body on their tongues. Let me out! Please, just let me out! There is only one way out. And you know it. Because you've been there many times before. No, I don't want to. Quiet. Now, be a good fat little girl and crawl into that hole before anyone sees you. So I think this is starting to confirm my uh, bulimia ideas. It's only one way out. Examine. The brain looks so fresh. Is this the item I was asked to fetch from I the cellar? I my last cigarette that it is. I can't just carry it upstairs in my hands. There's got to be some way I can deliver it fresh. Um. The brain will certainly fit inside, but I need to figure out how to keep it fresh first. That's castor oil, maybe? Oops. Nope. All castor oil will never be used. There's something else over here. Shelves. All these bottles, are they poison? My god. Well, we need some of that. You just have to kill me. We kill memories all the time. Okay. I can do this. But I've only got one shot. Which one do I take? Oh god, it's the Matrix. The red or the blue. Salmon red bottle. Red makes me think of blood, danger, and fire. Blue, the color of the sky, water. No, her eyes were never blue. They were green. Um, what's her face? Sophie's spirit, the memory thing, uh, said she just wanted to go to sleep and never wake up again. Um, I guess maybe blue might be more peaceful than red? I don't know. I don't need the whole bottle of the stuff, just enough for a single injection. Okay. I'm sure one of these would give somebody a peaceful death. But which one? Oh man, I don't want to fuck this up. I guess let's go blue. Well, here goes nothing. It's time for your medicine, girl. Boys, I should be careful carrying this thing around. I can do this later, the girl, if she asks me to return as soon as I've got the poison. Oh, okay. Seems like the whole main, the hotel's main gas supply switch is currently in off position. Well, let's pull that shit. I've switched it on. We need a gas for something, I don't remember what. Oh, the stove in that weird bathroom. Dig the music. Uh, the we just got poison music. Except for the fact that I don't know if I chose the right poison. Oops, enter. Stephanie, please. 
please don't hate me if this kills you violently. This syringe? Is this what you wanted? It seems so. But... Will it... hurt? God, kid, I hope not. No, you won't feel a thing. I don't really know. I hope not. Doesn't matter, you'll be dead soon enough. I don't really know. I hope not. You don't know? Are you sure it's... Are you even sure it's gonna kill me? I had a skull and crossbones. There was poison written on the bottle and a picture of a skull. There was poison written on the bottle. And a picture of a skull. Okay. That sounds about right, I guess. But I'm gonna ask you one last favor. Can you do it? What? Take that needle and stick it in my arm. I don't. I can't do it myself. No. Please. I'm begging you. Give injection or refuse. Oh, Lord. I wonder if there was a way that we could have figured out which poison was best. Like, maybe I should have talked to the doctor and consulted him a bit. Well, sorry, Sophie. Oh, fuck it. I'm already doomed anyway. Give me your arm. <laughs> Please don't start screaming. Ooh, that doesn't look like... Oh my god. Holy shit. Um, that was not peaceful at all. The body's gone. I knew she wasn't real. But what's this dress still doing here? I guess we'll take the dress. Alrighty. Well now we can go strangle the other Ivy or the other Sophie, I guess. Fucking Christ, that was brutal. Um Let's go to, I think it was on the second floor. No, no, it was on the third floor. Damn it. The doctor's on the second floor and we don't have what he needs. Man, I hope Hybe loves us at the end of this because we're doing some shit. Do we have anything to strangle this lady with, or are we just gonna like do it with our bare hands? Can we not talk to it anymore? Do we lose our chance? Oh, why don't we turn these knobs? I should probably go. It's not safe here. Just uh. Wait for that to explode, maybe? Can we go to the private party? That's the key to the kitchen. Oh, that's down in the place with the weird animal breakfast. Uh, alright, let's go to the kitchen for a while then. I really feel like I shouldn't have blown that girl's head to smithereens. I wonder what the red one did. Oh, duh. I have the key. Use the key. Alrighty. Why do we need a blender? Rotten pig. Nice. Look closer. Take the ice pick, I guess. Um, cooking pot's empty, and there's nothing in the pot. It would just burn it. Um, one of the few freezers in here that isn't completely frozen shut. Uh, 
frozen solid, I can't break it with my hands. Well, let's use the ice pick for its intended purpose. I need some kind of vessel. I can't just carry it around with my hands. Um, okay, so I guess we're going to get ice and put the brain on ice. Is that... Filled the bowl with ice. Nice. Okay. What's this pig up to? I think it's dead. Or just sleeping. Mm-hmm. He's just sleeping upside down. It's just a nap. I know you're just a pig, but I want to tell you this. It's all your fault. Can we swap places? Sup? Fuck you. Sorry, dude. I screwed up, man. Nah, forget it. What the hell? Sup, Sup. pig. That's the only thing we can say to the pig? Interesting. I wonder if I just fucked something up. That was really bizarre. Alright, let's go get some brain. Um, yeah, it'll just be easier to take the stairs. Oh, thank the lord the light's back on. Or maybe not. Alrighty, I'm gonna need your brain. I can't just carry it upstairs in my hands. Um, There's got to be some way I can deliver it fresh. I can't just carry oh, it upstairs oh my in my hands. There's. Yeah, this could work, but maybe I should take a closer look at the body first. Oh, can we like open the inventory? Oh, we can. Interesting. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Come on, buddy. We're going for a walk. I really wonder what would have happened with the red one. Up we go. And the doctor was in the f fucking labyrinth of a... of a second floor. Oops, no, we're on the first... Damn it. Hope you guys are enjoying the elevator tour. Courtesy of my mistakes. But for real, why don't I have a reflection? Okay, we went... Maybe it would be faster to go this way? it was like right here, 202, right? Yo, brah. What? These x-rays? Interesting. Ah, I see you have it. Quick, give it to me. Give it to me, boy. There aren't many people around here who would want such a thing. It is Dr. Z. He's a doctor. I think he'd rather examine me. What is it? I'm busy. Okay. Take the brain. Is this what you wanted? One fresh human brain. What else could I want? Yes. Now we have a chance. Eradicate the bad, restore the good. Or what's left of it, anyway. So, shut up and do it already. You can't just plant a dead brain inside of her head. Fingers crossed, Doc. Uh, yeah, we'll give him our blessing. Fingers sure. crossed, Doc. Go for this it. This has nothing to do with luck, mind you. I am certain my calculations were correct. Now it's just a matter of following a correct procedure. But since my nurses took their leave all at once, I will require your assistance. This cavity here, hold it open for me whilst I lower the brain into place. Gross, dude. Put some elbow grease into it, boy. <laughs> That's better. And a little push. Hmm, maybe this way. <laughs> 
Oh. It's okay, it's just the bowl. We can clean it up later. Almost got it. Just a tiny bit more. It's in! We've done it, boy! So, this is how you do brain transplants. Now I'm sure you really are mad. I'm beginning to wish I'd never met you. So this is how you do brain transplants. It's so easy, I'm surprised people don't do it more. Hmm. Now that everything is ready, it is time. Are we making a Frankenstein? For the machine. Yep. The machine? Yes, we will need to kick some life into this young lady. She's still very much dead, have you forgotten? No, I haven't forgotten. You're so full of crap, I haven't really been listening. No, I haven't forgotten. Good, because we have no more brains to spare, boy. I'll let you do the honors. There's a lever on the side of that chair over there. Can you see it? Just walk over to the right. I've run the wires from the chair to the body on the table. Less heavy lifting. See? Safer for our spines. That's cool now. The lever? What about it? What does it do? Pull it and we shall see. Alrighty, Frankenstein. I'm just your friendly Igor here to assist. Is, is he doing this in shorts? Bruh. I only broke the shit out of that. I don't understand. Have we run out of power? Hmm, it's probably just a fuse. I'd better go and investigate it myself. Okay, bye, Doctor. What am I supposed to do? Of course it didn't work. You're a madman. Don't strain your spine while you investigate your stupid fuse. And what am I supposed to do? Hmm. Alrighty. Same dialogue about the chair. Hello? Okay. Where? What is? Hello? Oh, girl, don't leave this room. You just stay right here. Stop. Whoever you are, don't come any closer. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Thank you, and I'm so very glad that you said that, but... But that's not the only problem here. I woke up, I'm butt naked, and I'm really freaking cold. I need some clothes, man. Huh? I'm not coming out until you get me something to wear. Well, I happen to have this dress. You want me to wear the dress? <laughs> it's almost clean. Here. Put this on. What? Man. Really? A wedding dress? Yeah, what's wrong with it? Yep, you'll be the bride of Frankenstein. I'm sorry all the shops were closed. Yep. You'll be the bride of Frankenstein. Yeah? And why's that? Come on. A zombie in a wedding dress. This is perfect. First of all, I'm nobody's bride, okay? And secondly, watch who you're calling a zombie. Because I ain't no freaking zombie, alright? Oh, bitch. Are you a zombie? Would you like me to call you a zombie? Hi. Well, it's too late now. Don't bother with apologies. But, okay, whatever. Fuck it. Go over there for a second and I'll put this thing on. Fucking sassy zombie. Holy shit. Yeah, there's blood on it. Be honest with me. Did you butcher somebody's wife-to-be to get this dress? Uh... Kinda? You can't kinda butcher somebody. What are you? An expert at butchering? No. A normal, sane person? Ha! Did that fool you? 
How do I look? Uh, you're right, you look awful. You look very nice, different than I expected, beautiful. It's like a zombie in a wedding dress, like a gypsy princess. You really remind me of somebody I used to know. Good, yeah, you look good. I'm disappointed, I'll reanimate somebody else now. Jesus, oh my god, so many options. What do I wanna do? All right, let's, let's be nice. Um, Let's not hit on her. I won't call her a zombie again because she got pissed at that. Maybe like a gypsy princess? Yeah. Like a gypsy princess. What? Uh -oh. I mean, it's kind of puffy at the bottom. How dare you? I do not have a puffy bottom. Hi. Lady. No, no, no. I think we need to get back to this part. How do I look? All righty. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. Thanks. I kind of do, don't I? I never pictured myself wearing a freaking wedding dress, but hey, I guess this could totally be my new thing. Or not. It's not really my color, and it's a bit tight around the waist. But I guess you can't afford to be picky when you wake up covered in blood in a strange room with no recollection of who you are. She's um, taking this rather well. Do you at least remember your name? What are you going to do? How did you die? Well, she obviously didn't remember dying because she doesn't think she's a zombie, so... Do you at least remember your name? Why? Do you not know it? I figured we were friends. But now that you've asked, you could be anyone, really. A deranged psychopath, for all I know. Wait. Maybe I do know your name. Let me think. Um, uh, it was Agatha. Or Agnes. Agnes. Your name is Agnes. Damn right it is. Cool. So we do know each other then. Uh huh. Not really. Yep. The guy who runs this place told me your name. And how did he know? Apparently, it was embroidered in your knickers. He didn't really go into details. Yeah, I'm just kidding. He didn't really go into details. Hmm. Maybe he was some sort of stalker. Nah. He was some sort of a doctor, I think. Yeah, a pervy sort. Playing with naked dead ladies. What a creep. Oh, she does know she's dead? Wait, what? How did you die? I can't remember, or don't want to. It's probably one of the two, but it could be both, or neither. What? Please don't be crazy like everyone else around here. I'm not. I'm a nice, happy person. I just haven't decided if I trust you enough yet. What are you going to do? I think I'm going to tag along. This room gives me the creeps. There are worse out there. Yeah, I was afraid you'd say that. But you won't let anything happen to me, right? Uh-huh. Uh, and what if I am the big bad wolf? I can't promise anything. I'll promise to keep you safe. I'll try. But I can't promise anything. Yep, sure thing. Taking care of damsels in distress isn't really your thing, is it? There's a guy with a goddamn axe out there. It'll be all right. I'll try not to bleed all over you when he chops me to pieces. My name is Joe Davis, by the way. Oh, so you are Joe Davis. Of course, now it all makes sense. It does? Mean? I'm supposed to give you a message. A note. There was your name on it. And when I first saw it, I thought... Joe Davis? Who the fuck is Joe Davis? And it's you! A letter? Where did you find it? Ivy. I held it all scrunched up inside my hand when I... came alive. No clothes, none of my stuff. That was the only thing I had on me. So, I figured it must be important. You still got it? No, I ate it. What the fuck? Of course I've still got it. Oh my god. But, since this dress doesn't have any pockets, I hid it in here. Oh. Okay. Can you turn around for a moment? I'll get it out. The note. I'll get the note out. <laughs> yeah. Is that okay? Get Too your tits out. Just walk further away and give me a minute, okay? Lord, lady. Ah, oh, fuck. Run! Um, 
there's nowhere to run, but... I don't know what to do. Except get mowed down. Guessing that's not how that's supposed to go. Oh, interesting. Let's continue as Agnes. All right, well, um, that's going to be it for this episode of What the Fuck Wednesday. We'll find out what is. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll just have more questions next episode. I don't know. This is a trip. I hope you all enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for joining me in this uh, wild what the fuck ride. I uh, will see you all next week. I hope until then you have a wonderful week. Uh, yeah, bye.